the first time you perform improv on stage, you describe that experience as being submerged and you felt that it was quite overwhelming. You thought there was so much to do. Yeah. I want to contrast that feeling with the feeling you have now on stage. Do you now walk in with complete clarity or do you still have ideas buzzing through your mind? As a, probably a way of rephrasing this question is, does getting good at improv mean that you latch onto the first good idea character you get and then execute that with complete clarity? Or do you make peace with this cacophony of ideas and then try to find a path that innovate threads through that chaos? That's a, that's a really good question. I, I think what, what I'm better able to do now, one is relax because you have to relax when you're up there. Otherwise you can't, you can't listen. You can't take in what's, what's happening and you can't contextualize it. Um, I think one thing that you, that you get better at over time is understanding, um, cause you're writing on your feet, right? And so you have to understand what the audience is thinking, what, and what they're getting, what the, uh, what your scene partner is getting in that story. And then what's going on with you. Right. Um, and I think now for me, I make one decision. I make one move off the suggestion. I get whatever inspires me. Usually it's something about, because I'm, I, I love fantasy. I love magic. I love uh, wild, wild west or, you know, a detective film, you know, whatever it is, genre, I really love genre. And so if I find something that I'm like, Ooh, I could, I could like put some weight into that, or I'm inspired by that, then I'll make that first move. And when I step out, if, if I see my scene partner and they're making eye contact with me and they're, you know, picking up what I'm, what I'm doing and they, they lay down a brick as well. Then I'm like, okay, we're complicit. We're, but if they're tentative and they're holding back, then I'll put down another brick. You know what I mean? So then eventually we're, we're building something, but what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm like giving you seconds. I'm watching you. I'm like one, two, three, no decision. Okay. I'll make another move. One, two, three. And I'm making sure everything I'm doing. Cause a lot of times when people do improv, they'll do object work and stuff like that. But really you're the most important part. And so I got to make eye contact with you. This isn't really that important. You know, I could be doing anything, but it's, it's, it's really, you know, who I'm talking to, right. You know, whatever that is, but that's this. I, I also like, I like, um, I like creating a space when I'm improvising. So I'm very physical and I'll, I'll, I'll like, um, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll like, but if there's a window, you know, if there's a window, always place your window out and where the audience is and, you know, look, look out, you know, cause a lot of people put it up here and that could be a fun choice. But the scary thing is to, you know, look out to the audience, you know, what do I look at? And, and including your scene partner with that, you know, you might, you might see me do that and like nestle up to me and be like, Oh, Oh my goodness. It does look like a nice day out there. Right. Or whatever that is. And it's like, then we're, we could be two sisters or whatever, but how you, it, it's like a, it's like boxing, you know, or, or, you know, it's like how you receive the move dictates how I receive, how I play off of that. So it's like, I try to be as flexible as possible when I play improv. In that moment, I, do you have complete clarity or are you like buzzing with so many ideas at that point? In that moment, in that moment, I get my suggestion and then I'll make that character choice. And then I'll start to look around the space and it, it feels like, you know, an adult playing uh, or a grown up playing like a kid, you know, like I'm, I start to see like a coffee mug over there or maybe a Sprite bottle in the, you know, in the, in the corner. And then I see an ashtray and I'm like, Shalaj, your place is a mess. You know, I mean, it's really, that's none of that is here, but like, I just started looking up and I'm asking myself, well, what do I see? But if I say no to one of those things, then I don't know where that wave of creation might have taken me. Does that make sense? It does make sense. It's I'm, I know it's a lot of like conceptual stuff. It's like a little heady, but no, I love it. I just love the way you describe it. It's in a like a musician would you describe it to in the sense that there's a beat to it, there's a rhythm, and then the other actor picks on as well. I've watched this live when I came for the improv jam at Pitt. Yeah. I remember a spin I'll never forget. In fact, right after we left, I remember speaking to my friends about it as well, that the way you handled that scene, it was, it was like a master at work because I think you're the actor who was with you. I think you were playing a security guard. I forget the actual premise, but it was, you gave them a beat 
they were not able to catch on they were a bit tentative uh-huh. but you gave them another beat and you kept giving them i think it happened three or four times and ultimately they caught on and they walked in and then the audience loved it because they were able to respond as well cool. i just it was just watching a master at work because you added something you waited for them then you added something more and then you waited for them and then you kept you kept building the scene until they felt comfortable to just give you something back and i thought yeah. that was really well done that's truly like thank you yeah it was like watching like a painting on stage as well so it was quite, that's yeah, a cool quite beautiful that's a cool metaphor for yeah. it thank you thank you for saying that yeah, yeah so when you speak about that that's the image that comes to mind because cool. i literally watched you do that live yeah that's that's very cool yeah thank you yeah uh that jam is so i mean Y'all had a good good time that night, I think. Uh, but it was just, uh, it's really grown a lot. So that's been good. So clearly people are, you know, feeling this comedy, the the presence of laughter and, and coming back each week. It's cool to watch. That's cool to watch. Like seeing the people on the street, like talking to you and all, all of your friends on the street and like connecting on the sidewalk like that and people not leaving because they're having such a good time there in that space with those people. It's like, that's always the case after something something that's got a good vibe or something that's good happening. 